Hey guys, John with Tech Reviews 919, where there's no problems, just situations. If you use a fire stick, program fire sticks, or don't like the layout, want to customize it a little bit, this video is going to be for you. Check it out. No problems, just situations. Guys, today I'm doing a video that some of you wanted to know about. Uh, I don't generally deal with fire sticks, uh, but I've done a few lately and I've tried to make them the best I can and make it easier for my end user. So I changed it up a little bit and some people have seen what I did and they wanted to know how to do it. So I'm basically going to go through and show you how to do it. Of course, you're going to need downloader to start off and then get file linked. That's a whole separate video. I'm hoping you guys know how to do that. If you don't, just let me know and I'll teach you how to do that um, we're basically gonna change the look of the fire TV fire stick this is a fire stick and I'm pretty sure you do it on the cube as well um, first we're gonna do file linked and for this video we're gonna use my file linked which <clears throat> right now has no pin on it um, it opened right up let's go ahead back so you can see it so my pin I mean I'm sorry my ID number number is eight six eight four five one one nine eight so you see this right here is my number no pin at this time and if there is a pin I'll still doing it and it'll be on my new videos um, but right now there's no pin um, you go ahead and open your file link if you don't know how to use file link there is a video I do have a video on file link very useful helps you program things um, we're gonna need a, a couple of different applications we're gonna need a for course first we're gonna get to uh, dismiss that we're gonna download app starter which a lot of you may have already heard about um, We'll install that. Don't take long, very small files. We'll install that. Done. Uh, we're going to also need Launch Launcher Hijacker. Download that. Install that. And I'll show you in a minute what, what to do with these. And you know, some people may like the look. To me, this makes it a little easier. And then we're going to come down and do on boot app store. And I'll, again, I'll explain that to you in a second. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do and like this video. If you have any questions, leave comments, email me. All the information will be in the description, including my file link. Um, and we're done. So we're going to go ahead and hit the home button. Again, I'm on our fire stick don't like these remotes but the more you use it the more used to you get but so what we're gonna do we're going to our apps see all and we're gonna go to app starter and there you go um, you can tweak the settings um, uh, basically what I like to do is I will change the background uh, and also background for app name so you can see it better. It all depends on the picture that you use for your background. I like to do hide left bar. You'll see how that works in a second. Uh, that stays at. Uh, I don't show system apps. You can and then you'll have hidden apps. So you click this. You can basically, I don't want them to see this. Don't want them to see this. File Explorer. Uh, I think we don't want to see that file link we don't want to see we'll leave clean master um, downloader uh, we'll leave that for now don't want that either I usually remove that I don't usually have that on there um, and that and I think we'll do this one too you can always come back and change that so you go back boom see if you hit the left, the menu back comes back up. Now, right now, 
if you hit the home button it goes back to that you can leave it that way or you know it all depends on what you like you hit home again it don't work oh that's right all right let's go back to app starter boom go back in here so this is what we need we need a launcher hijacker click that and this will come up you're gonna hit the button set launcher boom now if you hit the home button it don't go back but here is the Amazon TV home button click that it brings you back but if you hit the home button boom and again you hit the left you hit the menus boom you can customize the background all that good stuff and you can also export and import and you can do your Kodi updates too if you need to I don't use it um, now the next thing we're gonna do we are gonna go back which I have it hidden so if you want to see your hidden files you go back to the fire the main fire TV screen the Amazon screen so you come in here we're gonna go back and find this app the other app that we downloaded which is this one and we'll click on that and you can set what you want to start on the boot and of course we're gonna click this and we want to on boot I think that's correct and you want that I want to say it was app starter but uh, I'm not sure why that's not showing up let's try that again might have to edit this if it's not doing what I want it to alright there's only two apps on there alright we'll try it so we'll go back hit the home button come back here that's all good but um and then what I'll show you you can do go over back to settings and I haven't done this yet but we're gonna try it I have it in my file link so we'll go in here we'll go to import I guess you have to move it um, I can do that in a separate file uh, separate uh, video um, but you have to apparently you have to put your zip because you can sit here and export it and it sends it a zip drive of these settings to the folder but I don't have it in the right folder so it's not working so what I'm gonna do real quick and see if this worked we're gonna reboot it see if it boots into the it's supposed to boot back into the menu because if you don't do these steps it'll it'll boot back to the to the regular menu the fire stick menu which some people might want but some people don't if you want it to be totally custom you know this is how you would do it now I see what I did wrong I had to scroll up uh, we're gonna go back into this real quick I might edit it a little bit uh, click on this again it should have I didn't go all the way up and you need to select and you can do this with anything if you just if you want uh, live t net TV to pop up on boot up it will if you select this uh, but for this purpose we're using we're going to do app star we're going to go back and then now I'm going to reboot and show you what happens. Um, on, on startup, I'm going to get it right this time. Watch. See, this is raw. I'm not perfect. Um, I'm going to restart it. Um, that's like I said, I've only done this once before, so it hasn't been over and over again rebooting should start up from the menu that we designed I'll show you something else real quick too how to basically do the background since uh, my export my my backup is not in the right spot um, of course it's going to show this real briefly I think but it should pop over to my menu and of course it's not
there it goes. That took a little, it took a second, but there you go. Um, you go to the setting, you go to wallpaper. You select your wallpaper. Of course, nothing's there. Um, what we want to do, you go, I put it mine in the file linked so I can download it, customize it. Um, And that's pretty much it, guys. It's it, like I said, it looks better. You can put any background in there. You just have to um, click the background. And you have to download it to your Fire Stick. Um, select it, and you got to find it. Of course, you look under your. Uh, I put mine in the file link under downloads. It's not there because I haven't downloaded it. Um, I guess we could do it real quick. Hopefully, we, we, we're keeping the interest and nobody's turned off the, the video yet. But what we'll do, we'll go home, we'll go back to the Fire TV menu, and we'll open up File Link. Again, if you haven't used File Link, it's awesome. You should be using it, especially if you're programming boxes. Uh, we'll open that up, and we'll basically go. That. We'll go down to this. This is the one I like to use. But like I said, you can use anything. Um, this mess. Uh, there's my backup as well. What's uh, go? Oh. Force error. Ah. Oh. Oh, I know why. That's, it don't get installed. It just downloads. Ha! Ah, see? <laughs> I'm not used to doing photos on file, file length. So we'll go back. We'll go back to settings. Wallpaper, backgrounds. And we're going to select wallpaper. And we're going to go down to file length. Downloads. There it is. And we click it. And it takes a second. And boom. There you have it. Um, that's what it looks like. Uh, like I said, you can make it anything you want. Uh, let me try one more thing. The import. And there. Boom. That's actually what my backup looks like. I hadn't downloaded the backup yet. So again, I'm, not, I'm a little all over, but let me go back and do that again for you. Basically, you you can go into settings and let's say you have a, a setup you like you go over here and you basically click export and it exports it the zip file and it'll zip it to the main folder and when you, you use uh, ES Explorer if you need to do anything with it but then you click import and it automatically imports it and it brings that up see that's not exactly the same as it was a second ago um, but that's how you do it. Um, hopefully you guys stuck around for this. Uh, hopefully I wasn't too all over the place for you and you guys learn from it. Uh, again, I'll be doing another video on the lean back launcher. Some people like that better. Um, I like this one better. Lean back launcher is a little bit, it's not as customizable, but some people are used to that lean back look. So uh, keep a lookout for that as well. Uh, until next time, make sure you like this video if you haven't already subscribed to my channel if you have any questions leave a comment um smack smack that thumbs up for me and until next time there's no problems just situations no problems just situations